Okay, welcome to this new training video. Today, what we're going to talk about is switching from Viz Trio, which is our graphics plugin for Avid Media Composer, to Viz Pilot. And so, let's first walk through the current way you're doing things, and we'll show you the easy way of how you switch it up. So, if you go in here to the effect palette, you'll see down here this Viz RT, and up here's our gra graphics plugin. And this is currently how we add page pulls, lower thirds, bugs, date keys, things like that. We would Right now what we do is drag the effect on and this box will open. And so you click under editor and then let me bring it over to show you. This is how we, what you currently see when you add your NLE effect to um, a clip or a project in Media Composer. And under here, we would go find our name, whoever's, uh, and then we have these preloaded concepts, and we have a, a preview window will be over here. And for instance, we would go down here, let's say the Sky News 9 bug, and we would double click that, and it shows down here in a preview. And up here, we could add where it's at, so let's say Oklahoma City, and adds it down here. And then what we would do is just save it hit enter and there it is so that's the current way we do things but we're actually changing programs and so everybody needs to know what to do to change up and how to use the new program so th what we what I just showed you is Viz Trio now I'm going to show you Viz Pilot and how to make that change so again grab your graphics plugin put it on a onto a clip and we're going to go up here to configure Make sure settings view all. And right here, graphics plugin user interface. Right now it's currently Viz Trio. Change that to Viz Pilot and click OK. Now, if you hit your effect editor, why not click out of there? Now, if I go to editor, this is the box that will open. And so this is the new layout. This is just like what producers are already using to build graphics in their shows. And so this is kind of standardizing it. And this is actually easier to use. It doesn't lock up as much. Um, and I think you'll find it you know, just much easier for yourself. Up here under concepts, you'll see a whole bunch of different concepts. And so news graphics is essentially, this is pretty much all the graphics that the producers use. But what you need to be in, if you're an editor, a photographer, an MMJ, is the NLE concept. And so this gives you everything you should need um, to build graphics for, uh, for your stories. And so let's just show what this looks like. So let's say we need to add um, lower third subtitles, which is right here. If I double click on that, and up here you hit this eye icon, we'll click that, gives you a preview viewer. And so up here, I'm just going to type, um, you know, I told the guy that he needed to go. And over here, you'll see it types up right there. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit save as, and you name it. Don't leave it the generic L3, so just call it, uh, I'll use my initials, MEJ sub 1. Save as new, and there it is in my, my story. It's animating right like that. If you had a next subtitle, you do the same thing. So let's go back into the effect editor and let's do something different. Under editor, and you hit the back button, takes us back to what we're looking at. Here's a full screen for Facebook. If you're doing a Facebook post, full screen of an iPhone. Let's see what that looks like. Horizontal or vertical, let's say horizontal. Turn on our preview. There it is. And so that's just a generic background. To, and then you could put some video in here or inside that. Let's go to um, the date bug. Let's click that. You'll see the date right here. You could put courtesy YouTube, if you're showing a YouTube video, 
You could put the person's name if you're showing a picture and you just hit save as and just name it. Save new. And there it is in my story or on my video. Some other ones in here. If we go back, uh, full screen doc pool. So do you want a background? If you want to add a background, you just click on this and you can go, uh, this is called object store. And so if there's something in here, you can do a search. Here's all news things. The newest stuff that graphics will put in here will be at the top. Um, or you can do a search for, let's say, uh, OBN and hit go. And like here's Bureau of Narcotics, there's a whole bunch of different pictures. If you can't find what you want, you can always call Graphics, send them a picture, tell them to please put this in Object Store. And when you clear this out and search, the, and it will be the newest thing in there um, when they put it in. So let's go back and do the search for OBN. And let's say we'll use this right here. So we'll double click that. That's our background. Number of page pulls. So you can do up to two. So let's do two. So let's say a page pull is um, uh, large bags of meth. Um, failed to cooperate. Save as. MEJ OBN doc pull one. Save new. And now, this is what it would look like. And so actually, that background image would be your document. So the document you're pulling from. I just pulled a picture, and that's what it would look like. So the, the, your document would fold in, and then your page pulls come out with a background. Or, since we use page pulls quite a bit, we can go with no background. We can do one page pull, save, or save as if it's a separate one. And there is our page pull comes in, like that. So these are a few of effects, but this is how you use the Viz Pilot program. We have a full screen of a laptop, and so you would lay this over top of video that you wanted to put inside this, or let's see L3Ts. We have a drone. Here's the Sky News Nine, and we can put a location if we want to. And you just save as SN Nine, and there's our Sky News Nine bug. So this is our new way, the new NLE tool. This is how you configure it under configuration. You just change one setting. So again, you change under here, graphics plugin, change it from trio to pilot. And then when you use the editor, uh, make sure that you are in, let's go back to it. You wanna make sure when this opens, go back that we are in the NLE concept and everything you need is here. If for some reason there is something missing from here that you need, um, 911 lower thirds I don't think are in here. We need to get those added. Uh, so there are a few things missing and if there is something missing you can always go back to the Viz Trio for, um, to add like a 911 lower third. Um, the, these will continue to grow. These templates will continue to grow as um, graphics adds the templates. But this is how you use the new Viz Pilot program. Uh, please come see me if you have any questions and I'll help you out or you can contact Fred in the graphics department. He can also help you out if there's something missing or you need something.